Welcome everybody, DB here. Now, everyone's saying that uh, Cruiser Life is dead. And so when I decided to do a game of my Petro this evening, I see that there are four cruisers on each side. No, five. And I thought, maybe Saving Life isn't Boy, that dead. So, we'll give it a go. Anyway. Off we spin, and the first thing I think of is I look up in the top left hand corner and it's lying on the replay, but I actually have 350 megasec millisecond ping. 350. Yeah, normally I have 105. So the first thing I do actually is decide that I'm going to take a selfie. <laughs> so actually, right at this point, I've um, hidden the UI and I'm taking a selfie of my pick, uh, of my uh, Petro. Incredibly vain of me. Now I do have that island just to my northwest as in sights as my uh, camping ground. So we've got to swing this around a little bit because I want to be hidden. I want the item on my left so that everything to my left is not going to be firing on me. The only thing that can fire on me is what's directly in front. <coughs> Sorry for the cough. So as you can count the ships, there's two, five, eight, there's eight over there, which means there's four unaccounted for, which is means there's four in front of me. So if I can keep eight not firing on me, but only four possibles, then we're doing okay. Now, my friendly Petro is coming up behind me and I hope he's going to take up the same sort of parking spot. Thunderer, by default, is going to sit in the back line. But, you know, that's the current matter and that's what Thunderers do. So, you know, I'm not going to wail on that guy at all. So, we have a storm front, which is going to make things very interesting, especially for visibility and I just actually see that there were Donald J Trump was in the opposite team so his royal orangeness is in the game <laughs> and I couldn't help this little ditty either when it comes up bear from Twitter so he's taken up world of warships <laughs> So we know there's people up there right in front of us, obviously. There's incoming fire. We have a Swiss bit. He keeps coming in and out. We line him up. This looks actually pretty good. Boomski. That wasn't bad. 9k Citadel. Not so lucky, but we took a gun out. Money. I'll have a line fire on that. We get radar. That was the Petro. Very quickly. Moscow, Moscow really hates me, but look, I'm not afraid of taking much more HE fire at this point. So I'm going to put the double fire out straight away. Now if I was thinking that there was going to be a tons more of HG spam, I wouldn't have hit um, repair as quickly as I did. But as you can see, I've gone undetected. The HG spam has died. Now I'm thinking, roll forward a fraction here, see if I can get my guns on that Kremlin. Just a fraction forward, just a fraction forward, still undetected. No, we've still got a mountain there. Just looking at the line of the guns and thinking, is that mountain just for the rear gun? It would be now. But they're not coming back in a, in a hurry, so, no, nah, pull back. I'm camping this spot hard. I've even got a fire in a tent. And I'm not going anywhere in a hurry. And I found in tier 10 cruisers, or any cruisers, 
tier six up really you just don't go charging in you've got to play the first half of the game like a serious camping sniper oh here we go kremlin's making a break for it so our side is holding just just four guys are holding off four guys and the rest of the team are on the west side and the rest of them the rest of the team are on the west side This Kremlin looks like he's making a big push. And I'm not having any of that. I'm backing off. I might be a Petro, but he's a Kremlin. Yep, Kremlin is definitely pushing. Look at him. Look at him. Non pens, ricochets, and one pen. And that's all I'm going to get on this guy all day. He's nicely angled. I can fire on the waterline and just get uh, ricochets. I'm firing a little bit higher up, just so I might be able to pen the superstructure. And that's probably the only reason I'm getting the odd pen. That Kremlin knows what he's doing. Kudos to him. So I've switched to HE, you know, um, non pens. I'm thinking, what the fuck? At least the HA will explode in superstructure. Surely I'm gonna get penetrations and damage. Nope. Absolutely no. Oh fuck this. We're going back to AP. It was working better. Oh dear. Wargaming, what have you done to the HE on the Petro? We'll have a blind one. Now that Kremlin is still coming. He is charging like the light, um, light brigade. And it doesn't look like he's stopping. Now, my Petro, luckily, uses surveillance radar there, picks up the other ships. And he's parked in a very similar position to me, just a bit further forward. Oh, the problem is, he's in the front line trench, I'm in the second line trench. I don't mind being radared, I'm behind an island, so. The radar will go very shortly. And remember, I am playing this at 300 millisecond lag. Everyone else around here is getting 30 millisecond lag. Right, gets two defenders, three defenders. That's very nice. That Kremlin is just going to keep coming, and I know it. So I know I've got to have an exit strategy. They're calling for me to get back, and yeah, I will. But to start, we've got to get ourselves in the head and behind the island. Now, the good thing with the team is while we're down on cats, we're up on kills and we're up on cat points. So, we've got to work with this, and here's where I call East to push. No, sorry, East. I call... I'll actually get this around the wrong way. We're on the east side. <laughs> I meant west side push. My whole idea here was that our west side should push because their east side is pushing. But, um, anyway. So, we have a shot. Drake walks out. P pure broadside. This is glorious. I was shocked at that. Try again. I was still gobsmacked. I was expecting to see his health evaporate as I got penetration. Um, or at least a, one citadel. One citadel. Oh god, let's fire and Petro. Oh god, we at least got a penetration. Right, we'll check the line of that torpedo. We'll have a parting shot at Petro, just to see what we can do. <laughs> we get a Citadel. <laughs> this game is so random. I mean, I got a broadsiding Drake. I hit not nine times for nine overpens. What the fuck? So here he comes again, the Petro, just walking out. 
look at that. Now, why couldn't that have happened to the Drake? That's what should have happened. Let's have another go. No dispersion's not as good. Yeah, but we still hit him. Still hit him hard. He wants to come around. Now, I'm going to fluff this shot. Watch. Not, not enough lead to the right. So, at this point, it's me. Me alone. Battleships to the extreme rear. This is my last stand, my Alamo. And I know it. But somehow my team has left A uncapped. They passed through it, but no one's capped it. Petro's on, yeah, and he's gone. Here's me screaming out, requesting help. Oh, hello, hello, Drake. As I go down, and I'm going to go, go down. There, now, why could that have happened before? Seriously, what what condition was different last time? Did I just the shell hit closer to the gun? Uh, I don't know, but look at these two. Now, um, at this point, even though I'm being really harassed by the Drake, I'm gonna get my guns around on Mosper and try and finish him off. Oh, how slowly those guns are turning! At this point, I'm thinking, do I keep him there and look at Kremlin? Uh, no, they've got to come back. They've got to come back to Drake. I'm just getting pumped here. If I look at my um, damage, 99k. Yes. Nothing to write home about, but it's not rubbish. I expect to die any time. Double fire, put it out straight away. Yeah, no, I've got to keep on the mark. Oh, cross side. Hope for the best, hope for the best, hope for the best. Nah, that was always on the cards. So we've tried to hold out this side, this east side. There were four of us here, there were four of them. They did a major push, and we just did our best at um, holding the line. And our west side did end up pushing in the end, but left a cap just totally alone for some stupid reason is now a Massachusetts cap again. I don't know why. He should, he'd be better off just going, oh, he's probably doing it for XP. That would be exactly why. He's probably hoping we don't kill the Amagi and the CV before he caps. Because it's great XP. So I thought, oh, I'll just sit here and watch this and see where I end up along among the pigeons, you know. 126k in a Petro is nothing to write home about. You know, you wouldn't call up Mama and go, Oh, I've just done this. But it's not crap either. And when you've held off a push, yes, it was 4v4, but, you know, the push of that Kremlin, and because it was a Kremlin, and because he was angled, it was a rather hard thing to fight off. And our Margie's going to go down very quickly. Faster than a $2 hooker with a $100 bill in the panties. Boomski. So now it's just the CV. Massachusetts has got A, and his uh, extra XP is accounted for. He's happy. Alabama. 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 And that Soyuz, oh my god, guys, seriously, stop camping on the H line. The only thing left alive is a CV, for fuck's sake. At this point, they're thinking, oh, do I fire across the map? No, shit, oh my god, the Thunderer. <laughs> Jesus. What that poor boy was thinking, I've got no idea. But anyway, the results page, look, 126k. Nothing to write home about, but we got a kill. Got a good uh, spread of defended and all the rest of it. I'm very happy with that result. I mean, I would have loved to see 200k, but I'm not going to um, go jumping around for it. We'll flip to the next one, and I was a bit shocked about this. Um, second on top, base 1.8k experience. Uh, only just behind the um, Pan Asian DD. Bit of daylight. Uh, coming down below. Oh, quite amazed. Anyway, cheers, DB out.